Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, and uh, we'll come back. So let's continue our uh, topic today. Okay, now we are going to uh, talk about the uh, atom, yeah, atom, atom model, yeah. Okay, so um, actually this is an example, yeah, of some atom yeah uh, in this video I will provide you with three uh, atoms yeah and how can we know uh, the amount yeah the amount of electron proton and also a neutron in uh, some atom yeah okay now we start from the H yeah or hydrogen yeah so this is the hydrogen yeah and before we uh, draw yeah and before we learn about this picture yeah why it can be uh, only one electron yeah in uh, outside uh, on the shell yeah so this is the shell of the atom yeah so why it's only one electron yeah actually it can be explained by using the periodical table so as you can see on the screen this is the free online uh, periodic table and the reason why I show this to you because I think this periodic table is so cool yeah because uh, we can uh, click on every uh, atom here yeah we can click on every element yeah Okay, and also in the uh, in this area, you can see that uh, there is a lot of uh, properties. So let let's say for the hydrogen, uh, the melting point is this number, and then the boiling point and uh, this number, etc. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to learn. Yeah, and as you can see here, the hydrogen has number one here. So this is called with. Um, this is called with atomic number yeah so uh, this is h1 yeah so the one here is uh, represented uh, something called atomic number yeah okay so now if the atomic number of an element is one it means that the proton equal to one yeah and then the electron also one and the neutron is also one yeah and because uh, in default uh, condition yeah in natural condition the element yeah the element uh, is natural yeah and because it is natural so um, the amount yeah the the, uh, the, uh, the number of proton is equal with the electron yeah so as you can see the proton has uh, the hydrogen atom has one proton and also one uh, electron yeah and plus one this is plus one and this is the negative one so plus one and negative one equal to uh, zero yeah or neutral yeah okay and because the electron here is one yeah so the number of electron on the shell is also one yeah so this is the uh, electron yeah and then inside the nucleus so this is the nucleus consists of uh, one proton and also one neutron yeah so this is the uh, representation of uh, hydrogen atomic model yeah okay now let's continue to the next slide okay now how about uh, helium yeah okay now we can go to the he which is the helium yeah so the helium has two uh, has atomic number of two yeah so this is will be like this he two yeah so the proton will be one uh, the proton will be two the electron will be
negative 2 and then the neutron will be also 2 yeah and as you can see on the screen here uh, the number of electron is 2 yeah so 1 and 2 and then the proton is also 2 and the neutron is also uh, yeah so 2 yeah so this is the representation of uh, helium and now how about the lithium yeah so we move to this one so this is the lithium yeah so the lithium has 3 yeah so the proton will be plus 3 and then the electron is negative 3 and then the neutron is uh, also 3 yeah okay so this is for the uh, A neutron yeah it has three neutron one uh, two three yeah and then for the proton yeah one two three and now for the electron yeah it has also um, one two three yeah okay now the question is why it has two shells yeah if we take a look on the helium yeah, on the helium it only has uh, one shell and also for the hydrogen it also has one shell and now how about uh, the lithium yeah the lithium has two shell yeah so actually the reason why it has two shell uh, specifically already explained it uh, basic chemistry yeah so in uh, in basic chemistry yeah yeah we know about uh, we know about the uh, shell yeah oh, I mean the energy of shell yeah oh shell energy yeah and I think I will not explain it as for uh, detail yeah because we already uh, learned this in basic chemistry and actually we have uh we can yeah we can uh, know how much shell uh that is uh, that belongs to a certain element yeah it can be checked on here yeah so uh as you can see on the on the on the uh, symbol here on the upper right yeah upper right on on uh, in this uh, area you can find number two and one yeah so the first two here the first number here indicate the number of electron in the first shell and then the one here yeah represents represents the number of electron uh, in second shell yeah if we take a look on the let's say bromine yeah so on the bromine it has four shell yeah one two three four the first shell it has two electrons the second shell it has eight and then the fourth shell it has 18 and then uh, the third shell it has 18 electrons and the uh, fourth shell it has seven atoms and if you uh, sum all of this number you will get 35 yeah because uh, the default condition of an element is uh, natural so the amount of electron will be equal yeah, or it it will be s the same with it will be same with uh, it will has similarity with the number of proton yeah so this is okay so go back to lithium so one and two yeah so this is uh, one and two electron on the first shell and then the third shell yeah uh, the third uh, the electron number three or the third electron will be on the second shell yeah okay so this is the condition of uh, of the uh, natural uh, atom yeah which is indicates by the number of electron uh, the number of uh, which, which indicates by the atomic number of an element yeah uh and the amount or the number of electron and proton is the same yeah because the condition is neutral yeah okay okay now let's continue
to the next ah so this is the uh, the electrical charge ya yeah. electrical charge ya yeah. in an atom ya yeah. oke okay, so we are um, talking about the Na ya yeah. the natrium ya yeah. or sodium in English ya yeah. oke okay, so which Oke, okay, where is Na? Na, Na. Oke, okay, so this is the Na ya. Na has uh, in in uh, in normal situation or in uh, in uh, normal condition ya. Yeah. Then Na has uh, proton 11 and then um, electron also negative 11 and the neutron is also 11 ya oke oke so 1 2 yeah 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 oke 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 ya yeah. so this is the uh, first elektron ya, yeah. but in this case uh, the the out the out uh, the outmost ya yeah, the elektron on the highest shell will jump ya, yeah. so this elektron will jump ya, yeah. so it will uh, add ya yeah, the number of elektron on this atom which is chlorine ya, yeah. so uh, in this case ya yeah, the natrium or sodium will lost one elektron ya. Yeah. Yeah. So it so the number of electron will be 10 ya. Yeah. Because um, the proton is 11 and the electron is 10 ya. Yeah. So uh, the nat the natrium will be positive charge ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, because um, the proton is plus 11 and then the electron is negative 10 ya yeah. so it has plus 1 ya yeah. so we can or we can write the na with na plus 1 ya oke oke and how about the uh, chlorine ya yeah? ya yeah, because the chlorine so where is chlorine oke okay, so chlorine has 17 ya yeah. oke okay, so this is the chlorine has 17 ya yeah. so the proton will be plus 17 elektron will be negative 17 and neutron will be uh, 17 but because uh, the chlorine uh, get ya yeah, get uh, one electron from uh, sodium ya yeah. so the number of electron will be 18 ya yeah. ya yeah. so the score will be negatively Uh, charges ya, yeah, which is L, which is L, uh, chlor Cl min ya, yeah. ya yeah, because the um, minus one ya, yeah. so the chlorine will be minus one ya, yeah. so this is uh, the mechanism how uh, an atom ya yeah, or how an element ya yeah, can be positive and how an uh, element can be negative ya yeah. oke okay, so this is the concept of uh, how to uh, charge ya yeah, the the element ya yeah, by transfer or by getting ya yeah, by transferring or by getting uh, an element with a certain amount of electron oke oke ya so and then Yeah, I think that's uh, all yeah for this video and we are going to continue our uh, explanation on the next video and thanks for your attention until now.